The work that's being done here, we're in Atanaga last night. They had a great party there. They're active. They're energized. And they're committed to winning this. We've seen what happens when we don't. When we don't get out and vote. And everybody here worked hard last time. It was just like the next layer. We, um, in the independence, we lost them. We have to bring them back. And we have to point out what's happening at the state level. I mean, look at what's happening at the state level when the Republicans have total control. I'll let, if anybody minds, we'll let Scott say a few words too here. But just look at the agenda. Before we had, we always, it was divided government. We couldn't get much done. But they sure couldn't ram this agenda they're giving us now. Which is so anti-worker, anti-union, anti-environment, and especially anti-education. We're going to grow our economy. We have to invest in education. We have to invest in our children. And they might say that, but it's just lip service. Look at the votes. Look at what they've done. I mean, and that's, that needs to be pointed out. Uh, a minute ago, you said uh, we need to point out where the funding for the Republican candidates comes from. The, uh, the types of people who are so strongly pushing these, uh, these agenda changes. Uh, and it occurs to me that by making it clear that the Koch brothers and that sort of uh, group uh, are the, uh, the people pushing both the agenda and the funding, that uh, we might be able to take advantage of the 99% Citizens United, the Supreme Court case, it would be almost two years ago, that said corporations are the same as individuals. Like I've just seen a bumper sticker, someone, Rick Perry executes one, even though they are the same as individuals. <laughs> um, but absolutely, um, we have to get that out. Who's funding this? What their real agenda is? And, and we, but how we can fight back, the best way, is people. I mean, there's so many more of us than there are the Koch brothers and their mutuals. So we have to fight back, point it out though. Just see, I got this, all these mailers in my mailbox. Um, but this is their real, this is Dan Beneshek's real agenda. This is what he really did. This is what his vote for the Bryan budget really means. We have to continue to put that out. Yes, sir. Um, a couple of points. The, we keep losing the argument, giving up ground when people like Boehner say it's a jobs kill, that rich people make jobs. That's bull, because it is the regular people, the 99%, who have to have the money to create the demand, to create the need to invest. And rich people, if they can see a need to invest, they will do that. So why do we keep just rolling over and allowing that uh, to go on unanswered? To, to say everything you say is illogical and, and can't be proven. You know, I throw that back at them, kind yes. of thing. Yes, absolutely. I mean, Mike will tell you, um, how many rich people, the 1% come in here and use your, this, this beautiful venue? It's way as far for the middle class and the permanent underclass, if they can achieve the middle class status, they'll be coming in here and spending money and you'll probably be hiring people. You're absolutely right, it's created from the bottom up. Yeah. Just like education, we have to bring people up. And we have to educate them, we have to make sure that they have the ability to make a good living, good middle class jobs, and the economy will flourish. 